from the trip traveling through France it's another vlog but this is basically about the day when I got bitten by a dog so through the entire day like especially in the first half I did not record much at all because the situation was pretty not ideal and then I had to like figure out what to do and all these different things so I didn't film very much but after I've gone to the doctor done all the right things then I was sort of kind of more calm and started like flipped over and started videoing everything so I thought I do this little video as like a little introduction just like talk for a little bit just to telling you what has happened <laughs> But I would believe it. Oh wow, that's what that was. We stayed in the Airbnb, which uh, we found obviously through the website. It was, you know, it looked absolutely fine. The post did say that there were animals on location, but there were no danger or anything like that. Got to the place and basically I didn't realize what it was until, like seriously, I just uh, went to have a shower. And then in the morning, obviously, I saw a bit more as well. But basically what it was, it's, it was at this guy's house and from the outside the house looks absolutely fine and really nice but in the inside it really really smelled like animals pretty badly like and it was a lot of smoke because he smoked inside but you know other people's house like you don't really can't really quite like say too much you know and it was really late in the night it was like 11 30 p.m 11 p.m so it was just like okay let's just is what it is let's just go with it there were a lot of dogs this guy had like those really like hard out racing greyhounds and really really like just huge ones out there quiet masculine very like, hefty dogs that race so he did a lot he had like all his trophies displayed around through like this corridor and it was just basically yeah he was like a dude who bred these dogs for racing and on the vegan perspective like that's pretty shit and i didn't agree with it i paid for it it was already there and it was so late that it just ended up staying there for that night now these dogs he would have had maybe 12 of them in the house he had them you couldn't quite be able to tell like you'd have he had one little one out and around and another couple of greyhounds just walking around but they're very calm and not really causing any trouble but what you don't see is when you walk through this like corridor he has like these rooms that are more or less shut but in the morning they were open so basically he had you know five or six greyhounds in each room and the rooms were like just caged off it was just barriers and cages and all these it's just ridiculous all these dogs were sitting living in these cages all through these side rooms that were hidden away and i just really didn't like the vibe they all were 
making noise and they were like all crying not growing crying sound that the dogs made so that made me really sad <sighs> With that in mind, I it was the morning, right? And I thought, hey, I'm gonna leave soon. Pretty soon, I was in a good mood. I was really excited to just really experience these. Give me a leash, give me a leash, girl. Hello. Wait. Yeah. Experience the ocean, ride along the ocean. It looked just really nice weather and everything. And he had a couple of the dogs out walking around, and him and his boyfriend were petting these dogs, and no worries. Like, I went into the kitchen, like, everyone was outside into the balcony and i went to pet it but what happened is i kind of bent i did bent, bent down like i understand now that i shouldn't probably have done that i didn't know i've always had cats <laughs> in my life i never had a dog plus the dogs that i did have had encounters with were very lovely very friendly i've never had this sort of experience before but basically i went to pet the dog and everything was fine and then it just jumped at me and bit me in my chin and there is some i don't know how much of like really stuff i'd want to put on the channel here but basically it was a bit like crazy i think i have like quite a quite a bit of footage with like it plastered over and stuff and it's all like healed now more or less so you can see that it's fine now but in the moment it was really scary I got bitten by a dog on the face and on my hand. <sighs> what a crazy, crazy trip. What an insane adventure, I swear. Craziness. Just not a nice experience. Basically, so it went in and went for my chin. And what I did know is that when someone something like bites you you gotta not try and pull away you just gotta let it unclunch and let go that will have less scarring and it's like in the cart the bite worse if you were to pull it and then more infection can get in there it'll take longer to heal all these things so it's not just you know about the scar itself but having something heal better so it did let go eventually and then it went straight away for my hand and i still have like a, f a few scars in my hand but it just really clenched and it had a few i had a few bites up and it from top and the bottom so i was talking calmly to the dog and asking it to just let go and it, it's just ridiculous i was in such shock impact uh, just like it all started to bleed everywhere and it's just very traumatic <laughs> basically I've never, I've never even done any sort of vaccinations or anything, so I needed to get this tetanus shot. Again, never in my life I've heard of this thing. It, <laughs> until you go to another country, you end up hearing about it. So I had to figure all of that out. I really just did not want to be in that house any longer, and I left. Anyway, I won't go into too many gruel details, but I was trying to like just really focus on finding the solution, getting this tetanus shot, finding a hospital, which showed to be freaking ridiculous. I went onto Google, found, thank thankfully uh, I had internet, so I found nearest hospitals, freaking told them we're not even real, but for some reason it still says hospital or like a doctor's um, medical center on this stupid map. So after forever <laughs> riding through hills uh, I was riding slash walking freaking like my hand was in, in pain and in, inflamed like it started inf inflammating Bro it was got so hot as well it was just ridiculously hot on that day and I finally was able to find a hospital thank god I went in with my bike outside and I just really focused on taking care of myself and doing whatever I needed to do because I knew that that is literally my number one priority really being healthy and <laughs> not having things inflamed and just having this looked at as well. I found a doctor and they advised me, they gave me like a few different like things, gave me a prescription for antibiotics and wanted me to get this tetanus shot. Well, you guys, so much for a big case today. I feel like plaster does not on my face, does not need to be as big as it is. Looks 
looks messy. It looks like I've been to wars. Check out my hand. It's freaking covered. Oh, my advice to you is not to get bitten by a dog in a foreign country because they're going to charge you arm and a leg and it's annoying and now my hand hurts and I won't be able to ride as easily well my legs work <laughs> well although it is good that I was able just to get all this stuff happening and oh there's an ATM I need an ATM I had to go to the pharmacy, buy all these things, buy antibiotics, but also buy the actual tetanus shot and then walk over back to the hospital. He was, um, the doctor would inject me with it. And then I also paid for the bill. And the whole entire freaking shenanigan cost me over $400, which was ridiculous and super pricey. Of course, it had to be Nice where <laughs> this had to happen, but you know is what it is it has happened and we'll live through it and now i am healed and everything's absolutely fine
this is room for tonight. My hand is hurting, can't really much, but that's fine. Hopefully it will heal pretty quick. Standard little bathroom. See? So I eat my tiger. My lawn. <laughs> Let's go to bed. With the guy, there is just a lot of different things that were going through my mind, but basically when we talked about him, uh, to him about this, he said, oh, this dog just bites, he's bitten me so many times, this is not something strange, this is, uh, you know, this has happened before, and I was just like, are you kidding me, this is like the most ridiculous thing ever, why do you have a dog that bites in a house where you have strangers staying and paying you money for i just really did not enjoy the experience of staying at that house i did you know honestly, i didn't write a rating just because i i just didn't i wanted to forget this whole freaking thing entire thing has happened and i never wanted this man in my life ever again of course what happened next basically he had insurance and i didn't go to the police because my number one thing was I wanted to get this whole fix fixed and just get out of the place. I wanted to keep going. I was also very annoyed and frustrated that now I have lost like the swan of cycling. Plus, I don't know how much longer or like how be, that would affect me later on, right? Because it's like on my hand. Now, six months later, after the trip, he did end up claiming it through his insurance. And I did end up getting the money transferred over to my account now for what I have paid for the doctor's visit. Although it took freaking forever. And it took me going to doctors here and getting them verified that I'm all healed and it's just the one big massive insurance case that took months and months of back and forward and he basically made me cross over like because I had to write a statement of what has happened so I've written it all out and I said that it was a b and b blah 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 but he's like don't say that I told them that you're just my friend and this happened to a friend because they don't, the police doesn't know I'm doing this Airbnb and no, so Airbnb still doesn't know, which I know I'm in kind of two thoughts about it. I'm not trying to destroy someone's life, and I feel like I came out okay out of it. Although it is dangerous for other people who are staying there. Yes, I agree with that. But then I feel like he probably has learned his lesson in a way as well. Because, uh, well, I mean, it's not like he was really happy to see me being bitten <laughs> or have had that sort of experience. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think I should do? What do you think I should do? Do you think I should write a not very good review and just really say that not very pleasant things have happened with the animals in the house? And I just wouldn't recommend people saying that. But I'm not like trying, like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's yeah i just i don't want to ruin someone's life or way of making income of course hopefully he will be much more vigilant about his animals now he's not letting them roam around when he has strangers walking around and he knows that the dogs bite
remaining is on the video just be very careful when you go to other countries when you're around animals whether it's you know monkeys on Bali whether it's you know crocodiles or snakes in Australia you'll probably really probably don't come across a crocodile I <laughs> try not to snakes in Australia because that's something that we do have here and you can meet a snake when you're just cycling up you know Mount Kuth in your backyard or you know just going for an evening jog like a came I've encountered a whole lot of snakes of course usually they don't like to take you they just kind of swirl away or you know cats or dogs in other countries as well and now I know a tetanus shortest and why you have it and that's more or less important as well <laughs> so with that being June said I still have had a good trip good holiday obviously there a good time in Nice overall and we just learn from all of our experiences, right?